The third and final uh, issue that I'd like to highlight with St. Augustine is the issue of faith. Uh, the uh, Manichaeans uh, boasted that their, their religion was based entirely on reason, uh, whereas Christian faith calls us to believe things uh, that we can't see and to accept things by authority. Augustine is very interested in this matter. He's very interested in this claim uh, that the Christian call to faith is an irrational one. And I would like to only highlight a couple of things about Augustine's response to this. First of all, I think Augustine is convinced that there's something we get within the Christian faith that cannot be given to us by different systems of philosophy and human reasoning. For example, Augustine believes that we learn from Jesus, from Christ, who is the center of the Christian faith, we learn from Jesus that the real key to our happiness is the path of love and humility. That is, recognizing that we are creatures, God is creator, and that we are called to a life of self-giving love. God himself showed up in human history and loved us, even to the point of death. And for St. Augustine to believe that and to discover that, it becomes the key to life. It becomes the solution to the problem of human arrogance and self-centeredness, or the problem of what is my life for? My life is for love. And I learned that through the example of Christ who comes to dwell among us. For Augustine, this is enormously important. This sets the, the stage for everything that Augustine believes in, is that by encountering Christ, by encountering the example of Christ, we find the ultimate cosmic uh, sort of uh, key to everything. Uh, the key to unlocking human life is the experience of the love of God. And once I experience the love of God, once I experience the love of Christ, then that puts my reason in a very different framework or context. And that leads me to my second point that I want to make about faith uh, from the standpoint of Augustine. And that is, Augustine is uh, often uh, referred to as, as uh, holding the idea that, that faith, and Augustine says various things along this line, uh, that, uh, that faith is sort of a prerequisite to understanding that he says things like, I believe so that I might understand. I believe so that I might understand. It's through belief, it's through faith, accepting and embracing the authority of God presented to us through his prophets and spokespersons and so on. It's then that I get a context for properly reading, interpreting, and understanding the world around me. We might ask ourselves, what does this life mean? What is its purpose? What am I here for? Augustine's answer to this question is, I find that the right orientation or context for addressing these questions by accepting Christian faith. It's almost like, not quite, but it's almost like finding the answers at the back of the book. If you've ever worked a math problem, I'm sure you have, worked a math problem where you, you couldn't quite solve it or resolve the question, so you go to the back of the book where it gives you the answers, and then you go back to the problem it's often much easier to solve the problem when you know what the answer is supposed to be. So for Augustine, God gives to us the, the great answers to the great questions that we have as human beings. We can then return to our experience as human beings and make sense of them because of uh, what we have come to believe. Let me give you one quick answer or, or one quick example of this. Uh, we could talk about the, um, the mystery of the Trinity, for example, which is that God is eternally Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, that God is a communion of love. Uh, that communion of love, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, created human beings, made us in his image and likeness. We then find in our own experience that we are longing for love and completion with others, that we are not self-contained and complete within ourselves. We want others to complete our own lives. In fact, so much so that we have a longing for eternal love that expresses itself in many different ways. Marriage is one great example, that of people wanting to make an enduring commitment to one another for life. Whether that works out or not, there is that desire for it uh, in human beings, to, to live and love forever in communion with others. From a Christian standpoint, we can step back and look at that longing in human experience and see that the Trinitarian God, the God who is eternal love, uh, has uh, created us with a likeness to himself. And that likeness to himself is discovered, uh, and, and the meaning of it is discovered as we reflect upon our life experience in relationship to the answers given to us by God. Augustine is convinced that if I begin by accepting the authority of God that comes to us through Christ, 
uh, when I accept that authority, then now I am able to make sense out of the world uh, that I'm encountering and experiencing. I'm able to build up an understanding of reality that truly is compelling and makes sense. We often do this in our own uh, experience. We have to start somewhere. Uh, we start with, for example, in the English language, we can't even read a book unless we first accept basic definitions of words or we learn the system of signs that we call the English language. And then once we've received that data and received basic information from those around us, then we can begin to build on that. But all human knowledge begins with some given with some accepted premises, with some axioms of thought. And upon the basis of those axioms and those foundations for thought, we then can build up a more complete understanding of reality. So it is with Christian faith. God comes to us, reveals to us through his prophets and spokespersons, and most supremely through Christ our Lord. Uh, he comes to us and shows us the truth of things so that we can then return to our experience and we can build on that foundation an understanding of the world, an everyday understanding of my life, what's good, what's bad, how should I live, uh, what's worth living for, what will the future hold for me, and so on. I can answer those kinds of questions because I've embraced the authority of God. Uh, if, however, I reject all of that and I say I'm not going to accept anything, I'm not going to accept any authority at all, uh, what I will find is that I will either be contradictory to myself, uh, because all of us accept various authorities all the time, uh, or I will reject all authoritative knowledge that comes to me uh, upon any basis at all. I will have to prove everything myself through direct observation, and what I will find is I will always be recreating the wheel that I'll never get anywhere because uh, because I will always begin with certain assumptions, foundations, premises, information that I got from someone else, uh, and so on. Uh, and so if I don't have any of that information, if I don't begin with a basic disposition of trust and of faith in rightful authority, then I'll get nowhere in human knowledge. So, uh, in conclusion, Augustine is not arguing for faith as a cop-out from using reason. Uh, one cannot read Augustine and come to the conclusion that he's not interested in using reason. He's a man of great reason, uh, but he also recognizes the limitations of human reason and the need to submit oneself to the authority of God's revelation.